Docker system begins flowing at T minus 10 seconds. Any issue after that would be an automatic scrub for the day as the teams would need to refill the deflector's water tanks as well as the propellant storage tanks over at the tank farm before we're able to make another attempt. Now it is just so unbelievable that it's just been only a little over a month and we are just a few minutes away from flight six. Uh, the crowd here is building up. We've got a much larger crowd here than when we were uh, launching at four or five in the morning yep. <laughs> out here. So very excited to have an afternoon, afternoon launch to have all the employees here. Exactly. Now, just as a reminder, uh, that T minus 40 second uh, hold, if we uh, opt to use it, everything is still potentially go for launch. So nothing to be worried about there. Uh, at that point, basically up until T minus 40 seconds, all of boards are just holds. Uh, this would allow the team to wait for final checkouts to assess propellant levels, engines, avionics, vehicle pressurization, you know, range, weather. Occasionally we've had trip boats lingering in the past, <laughs> uh, but that doesn't sound like that is the case today. Yeah, not today, no shrimp boats, which is great. Everything so far is looking good. We're getting really excited here, just a few minutes away. We're gonna go back, uh, send it over to Dan in Starbase. Uh, how's it going, Dan? It is still going great. Just coming up on about three and a half minutes away, so we should be done with our prop load on shift momentarily. And about 30 seconds later, we'll close out on booster. Uh, our flight control team on board, or in the building just behind me, not on board, some of them might wish they were on board. Flight control team in the building behind me, they're going to have a lot of work to do right after we lift off, uh, as we still have a lot of manual checks that happen on the tower prior to the flight director, who's going to be Tristan Pierce again today, giving a manual command to bring the booster back to the launch site. And we have, the tower did just incredibly well on the last flight. We didn't lose any of our required redundancy for a catch, so we're hoping to see that again today. Uh, a lot of the team, you know, really putting armor on the tower, making all of those things work, uh, played a huge role in making that catch possible, and looking forward to hopefully seeing that happen again. Uh, and of course, sending our first payload to space. You see the banana, it's very tightly secure, but I assure you it does have some room to float around. So once we're in a zero gravity environment, we should see our first Starship Zero Gravity indicator put in on a little bit of a show. Uh, and that's looking right in, that's where we're gonna have Starlinks, that's our PEZ deployer. Um, so getting its ride to space. So coming up on about two and a half minutes, we are closing out on all of our prop load. Uh, yep, just heard that our fill drains are starting to close. So that means we're no longer going to be flowing propellant into the booster and the ship. We're going to do what's called pushbacks. So all of that propellant in the ground system is going to get pushed back to the tanks, clear out everything around the pad uh, right before we light those 33 engines and take off. Uh, just a quick reminder, you're going to see fire start at the bottom. You're going to see the deflector start at about 10 seconds before launch. Lots of water to help dissipate all that heat, all that sound. And the engine's starting up in three different groups. And then about a second after T0, you should see liftoff. Uh, about two and a half minutes into the flight, a little bit longer, we'll see hot staging. And that's when we're going to be listening really close on those loops to see if we're going to be bringing the booster back for a catch today. Do always want to caution, it's never a guarantee. We've done this once. We'll see if we do it again. We're only going to do it if the booster and the tower are looking really good uh, before we attempt to bring it back here. But coming up on a minute, not tracking any holes on the board right now. So as long as we don't have any last second things, which do happen. All right, flight director just confirmed T minus one minute. Key moment to look at in 10 seconds, that T minus 40. And we flew right through that. All right, we're now T minus 20 seconds until liftoff of Starship Flight 6. This will mark our second attempt to catch the super heavy booster at the launch tower, as well as... 
5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vehicle was pitching downwind. Booster Raptor, she will pressure nominal. Booster and ship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Continue to watch it go up. A lot of our flight controllers looking at all the systems around the tower. Again, we have to send the manual command. Just about 30 seconds away from hot staging. We heard, we heard the tower is go for catch. The return flag is set for true. All right, hot staging confirmed. Six out of six lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Okay, Jesse, take the views. Hopefully I got a booster. Coming home real soon. From our view here, Dan, uh, great views of planet Earth behind that super heavy booster. Right now it is performing the boost back burn. Good news there telling us that the, uh, the pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage or the upper portion of the vehicle. Follow along with the telemetry on the bottom of your screen. Yeah, booster is currently, super heavy is currently in its boost back burn, this boost back burn. This boost back burn lasts just a little bit over a minute, so we've got a little, approximately 30 seconds left. We've had shutdown of that boost back burn. Up next will be off stage, Jackson. The view from the camera on the left, or from the booster on the left hand side of your screen, and then tracking cam there on the right hand side of your screen. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore diver. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. Yes, a visual confirmation of that there on your screen, which is great. Now the next... Starship is following the nominal trajectory. The next step for Booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, tear down to three engines right before Booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out. Uh, boost back, or to me, booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are no go for the catch. Um, as we said before, both the tower and the vehicle, as well as the operators on console, have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria, so we are no go for tower catch. 
And we did mention that we're constantly evaluating the criteria for catch. There's a lot of things that need to go well in order to line that up. Unfortunately, today we will forego booster catch today. But what you're seeing on your screen is ship uh, currently making its way towards the Indian Ocean, still looking good so far. Exactly. So views there of the booster on the left-hand side of your screen, views of the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. Now, we said before that it was not guaranteed that we would be able to make a, uh, a tower catch today. So while we were hoping for it, like we said, it was pretty epic on attempt one, but uh, the safety of the teams and the public and, uh, and, and the pad itself are uh, paramount. So we are accepting no compromises in any of those areas. Exactly, and we're still going to get a lot of good flight data with booster even, but especially with ship. Again, we have an additional objective today to do an in-space relight of a Raptor engine, which again will help us set us up for uh, being able to do deorbit burns, which is ship chamber pressure is nominal, which yeah. which is important for orbital flights. And what you're seeing on your screen is a view from Super Heavy as it's making its way back down to Earth. Yeah, once again, we are attempting an offshore landing of the Super Heavy booster. Uh, so we have seen this before, uh, and it is still very fun <laughs> to watch, watching it come down uh, for a soft splashdown uh, off the Gulf Coast of Texas. We can see it there re-entering. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Or we can see that the landing has begun on the Super Heavy booster. Super heavy. Down. Yeah, I'm sure the buoy cam views will be pretty awesome once again. So we'd like to confirm a water landing once again for the super heavy booster. Congrats to the SpaceX team uh, for making that milestone as well. Now, ship continues to look